on the heels of a U.S. Open Cup victory three nights ago. It's back to the business of USL for San Antonio FC. Tonight, live from Toyota Field, the second showdown in a span of six nights versus Oklahoma City Energy FC. We've got the call from South Texas. Hello again, everybody. Alongside former MLS Cup champion Kelly Gray, I'm Steve Cangelosi. The coaches have had a lot on their plate, the teams as well, in the last week. Each one of these sides comes off a U.S. Open Cup victory in midweek. Darren Powell, Jimmy Neal, and guiding their teams to victory. And, Kelly, they're seeing each other for the second time in six days. San Antonio, the home side this time. There's more at stake for them. Yeah, with the last game with a 1-1 tie, San Antonio's got to be happy with that. They go away on the road. They come away with a point. OKC, on the other hand, they're at home. They need to get those three points. So it makes this game that much more important for both teams. San Antonio has to get the three points at home. You have to win your home games. And OKC has to come in and get something out of this game. A point will do. Three points is better. In the game you referenced, San Antonio did score first. San Antonio did score first. Some good, a good team goal here from San Antonio. A cheeky little through ball. Chin takes his time, doesn't rush it, and a late run from Garcia, and he's able to slot it in that near post to give San Antonio the 1-0 lead. But OKC did not wait too long to even the score. Koenig for OKC gets on the end of a nice through pass, some good footwork, and a composed finish to tie the score at one late in the first half. All right, and for San Antonio FC tonight, a couple of players dealing with national team call-ups, Manolo Sanchez for Puerto Rico, Sebastian Terrier for Haiti. That affects the look of the midfield, which you feel is very important. Tonight. Yeah, I think the midfield is a, a matchup that we have to watch today because you have Salazar in there in Terrier's spot. That's a very crucial role for San Antonio. So we have to see him step up, and you got to see Garcia pushing up and trying to be that third attacker for San Antonio. Fourth home game of the season for San Antonio FC and ready to go at Toyota. Toyota Field in San Antonio, seeking their first USL win since April 30th, the home sided as the crowd settles in at Toyota Field. Starting lineups and first kick are just moments away. How can we help? Well, I'm thirsty. We have juice, teas, and over 100 ways to create your drink with our Coca-Cola Freestyle. Wow, that's a lot of drinks. Need a boost? We've got fresh coffee and great deals on energy drinks. That's cool and hot. Ready to relax? Check out our craft beer and wine selection. Classy. How else can we help? That's it. I'll just take these. Thanks. Don't forget the milk. We're your juice, tea, soda, coffee, energy drink, beer, wine, <gasps> milk, and more store. We're fresh and friendly. We're Corner Store.
our first kid. It's time for a new car. A new safe car. Exactly. Well, the Camry's really safe. Ten airbags. You could even get one with a blind spot monitor. I don't know if we need all that. Maybe we should get it. Yeah, you never know. During Toyota Time, get $2,000 customer cash, or qualified lessees can lease a new 2016 Camry LE for only $199 a month. Safe travels. Thank you. Toyota, let's go places. You may know us for our quality fuels. You might know we're the world's largest independent refiner, or even that we're in the Fortune 500 top 20. But did you know? We've given over $100 million for children's charities, delivered more than 45,000 Meals on Wheels, and given over $10 million for higher education. To appreciate a company's true value, you have to understand the heart of its people. First kick at Toyota Field. Let's check out the starting 11 put out by head coach Darren Powell for San Antonio FC. Kelly Gray, you talked about the diamond in the midfield. That means a change for Jason Johnson, who's up top tonight. Yeah, Jason Johnson coming off of a goal midweek. This is a good chance for him to work on that partnership with Chin up top and have that connection with Garcia as well. Sean Chin with points in each of his last three games for San Antonio FC. Jimmy Nielsen is the head coach of visiting Oklahoma City. His starting 11 tonight, we featured Danny Koenig, the Danish striker, earlier in our segment, and he is the man tonight. Now maybe finally starting to warm up as he has the first goal of his season under his belt. He was lights out a year ago. Yeah, it's so tough to get that first one, but once you do, it's, the goals just seem to keep on coming. Darren Powell, named the head coach in January. Formerly director of youth development, Orlando City of MLS. The Nottingham, England native, the winningest coach at Elon University at North Carolina, where he spent nine years. His team looking to get back in the win column tonight against Oklahoma City Energy FC. We're getting the signal from the referee, Brandon Artis, and we're set to go here at Toyota Field. Colin Bonner is an addition to the Oklahoma City lineup who did not feature in the last game against San Antonio FC in the starting 11. That's one of the changes, and this game begins with an early foul, and it's the big man, Goner, all six foot four, that's tripped. Yeah, he's got to be a player to watch for OKC. It's going to be interesting to see the chemistry and if there is that little lack of chemistry because he hasn't been around too long for OKC. Subbed on in the second half last week was the 21-year-old striker, so the first dead ball situation, and it's Sebastian Dalgard who is over the ball. Jimmy Nielsen, the head coach of Oklahoma City, is a native of Denmark. That's reflected in his roster. There are three Danes on the team, including the man over the ball, and Dalgard with the first free kick of the evening. His service on a bounce is deflected high. Top of the 18, Arturo Carlos Alvarez there to challenge for that, but cleared back to the middle of the pitch. The Cameroon-born defender, Ciprian Hedrick, is on the ball here for Oklahoma City. Since a season-opening loss to Colorado Springs, Oklahoma City comes in undefeated in the last five. First touch by Cody Lorendi, the goalkeeper for Oklahoma City. Johnson deflects it off the visiting side. Here's Greg Cochran with the throw in as we get a look at Lorendi, the 27 year old keeper who played for Austin Aztecs last year. Brought down by Cochran. Only player on the San Antonio team to log and play every minute of this UL Cell season for them. Rafa Castillo, beautiful back heel pass, sending Danny Garcia on his way. Garcia takes it into the 18, left foot crack, and it's oh. just wide. Well, that's the start that San, San Antonio needed to have. You want to have Garcia with that ball at his feet. He's able to beat one defender and gets a shot off, looking to pick out that far post, but not able to tuck it right inside that post. But that is dangerous. We, I said earlier that I want to see him become that third attacker, and you see it there. The two forwards bring so much attention, it leaves this huge hole for him to attack. He's doing it. It's great. 
First scoring opportunity of the game coming in the third minute of play. Garcia has scored twice thus far this season, including the meeting between these sides six nights ago. Cochran on the ball for San Antonio. The World Cup veteran Castillo plays this ahead. That deflects off Sean Chin, and it's controlled here by Lorendi. San Antonio hoping to make a good week a great week, having already advanced in the Lamar Hunt U.S. Open Cup with a 3-1 win versus Corinthians FC on the strength of the first two goals in the career of Jacques Francois. More on that story as we move along. Milton Palacios, the Honduran defender, makes the safe play. Dalgar, the throw-in for Oklahoma City. Each one of these teams finding its way so far. Oklahoma City, next to last in the conference. San Antonio FC, middle of the pack, sitting in 10th place. Yeah, I think Koenig scoring that goal in the last game is really what OKC needed to get their season started. When your star striker is, is not able to put some away, it really takes away from the offense that you have. And now that he's found one, you know that he's going to end up finding quite a few more. Headed away, McBride, not out of harm's way, and that shot is rifled off the crossbar. Coy Kraft with the golden opportunity, and San Antonio catches the first big break of the night. Service from the near side, waiting is Ford, who parries it away. It's a corner for Oklahoma City. Good safe play by Ford to not try and catch that ball. He's moving backwards. Coy Kraft, with, you see that composed shot, able to hit it, can't get it quite below that bar. First corner of the match for Oklahoma City as we get a look at Jimmy Nielsen. This ball curled in, Koenig trying to get on it. It drops here. Michael Busco. And defended away. Hedrick sends this high. Flicked ahead by Kraft, and here's Sam McBride, defender. Tries to shepherd it over the goal line, and unable to do so is McBride. And we get clarification from the official. It's going to be possession for Oklahoma City. Conversation with the referee far away from the last contact of the ball, and indeed there was a foul called behind. Yeah, foul called early on. Seemed nobody heard the whistle. But another chance for OKC to float a ball into the box. Dalgard, his service, headed away. Alvarez, and cleared out of harm's way by Johnson. Here's Chin, has time to latch on to this. Sean Chin, working on two goals this season. Tries to beat his man one-on-one. -on -one. That's Cody Andrews, the defender, who did well. Yeah, Cody Andrews did exactly what he needed to do. Just stood up Sean Chin, and Sean Chin not able to get around him. Koenig waiting for it at the midfield stripe, but instead continuing on is Kraft. Has it in the 18, looks to turn, blocked away by Cochran, and another corner is earned. Second of the match for Oklahoma City. Kraft has had a bright start to this game. It's dangerous making those late runs. Coy Kraft, the 18-year-old midfielder, formerly of FC Dallas in MLS, and on loan from the big club. It's going to be an interesting matchup between Kraft and Cochran. Cochran loves to push forward for San Antonio, and he's going to leave some space back there. And the question is going to be, does Kraft come back with him, or does he let him go a little bit and take that chance to try and get into offense himself? Dalgard again on the corner. Kept alive, Husko. Tries to beat his man on the far side. This will be possession for San Antonio. Opening six and a half minutes at Toyota Field. Glad you've joined us on Fox Sports Southwest. Milton Palacios, the 27-year-old Honduran right back. Greg Cochran just two weeks ago in our last telecast was playing on the right side of the back four. He's one of the more versatile players that San Antonio has, employed in the left back role here today. One of the reasons it's been tough to get him off the field. Actually impossible to this point. <laughs> Played every minute so far, and you see that the boy just has an engine. He is up and down the field nonstop all game long. Used him on the left side of the midfield as well earlier this season. Nice tool for any coach, including Darren Powell, to have. 
Chin at the midfield stripe. Sees that guided away by Cody Andrews. Palacios throwing. Oklahoma City provides pressure. Pass intended for Koenig is broken up, but tripped on the play was Busco. Referee Brandon Artis is the man in charge tonight as we get a look at head coach Darren Powell. Three to one victory in the US Open Cup earlier this week and if San Antonio wins, they'll travel to take on MLS Houston Dynamo in round four of the competition. That's when Major League Soccer teams enter the US Open Cup. Another free kick, Oklahoma City. This ball deflected away. Johnson keeps it in play cleared by McBride. Delgard on the ball for Oklahoma City. Tries to seek out Koenig and does. Kept alive on the far side. This ball cleared away by Cochran. Game is being played in the attacking area so far for the visiting side predominantly. Yeah, well after San Antonio's first chance by Garcia, it's been all OKC. They've been possessing the ball in San Antonio's half, and they've had a couple of chances, as we saw earlier, the, the one right off of the crossbar. Played back by Miguel Salazar, and here's Castillo in the midfield. Johnson scored in the Open Cup victory in midweek, still the team leader in USL with three goals so far this season as Cochran plays it back. This is some better possession from San Antonio. Just not forcing the ball. Trying to open up OKC a bit. McBride out of the back. Off the shoulder of Castillo and Oklahoma City will have it. Since that season opening loss to Colorado Springs, we mentioned the undefeated streak for Oklahoma City, but four of those matches were draws, including the game against San Antonio last week. Jimmy Nielsen was pretty blunt with us. It's time to start registering some wins. This was a playoff team in USL last year, eliminated in the Western Conference Final. Kraft with the throw in. Oh, he'll let his teammate have it. It will be Michael Harris. Now watch the distance that Harris gives you as he backs up on the throw in. Over the top. Kraft. Busco. Pass for Delgard is off the mark. You gotta love that flip throw from Harris. And any ball that goes out of bounds anywhere in your attacking half ends up being a good set piece for you. And you see just how accurate he is with it. He can just pick out that penalty spot. See him looking for Koenig. He's employing that at the University of Washington, Seattle native. Yes. Do get some extra distance on that. The guys who've perfected it swear by it. Palacios able to play this ball away. And San Antonio hemmed in here in the opening 10 plus minutes of the match. Yeah, the San Antonio really hasn't been able to find their, their top two players in Chin and Johnson. And they have been able to hold that ball up and move the team forward as a unit. Busco played out wide. Colin Bonner. Now service from the far side. Headed away by Cochran. Played by Miguel Salazar and worked away by San Antonio. Weathering a storm here is San Antonio. Let's see if they can make something of it. Now Castillo gets his engine moving. Chin, one touch, out wide. Johnson on the ball. Johnson gives it a go and parried away. One hand slap by the goalkeeper, Lorende, for a corner. I love that confidence from the youngster, Johnson. He's got players all around him. He's at the top of the box. But he doesn't hesitate. He takes a little look and he's like, you know what, I'm just gonna have this one. He's got that little swerve from that left foot. Almost gets it past the goalkeeper. Darren Powell set to watch his team take its first corner of the night. The corner store corner kick will be taken by Carlos Alvarez, second overall pick in Major League Soccer's draft back in 2013 with Chivas and now with San Antonio FC. Here's Alvarez on the set piece. Played short. Castillo. 
flicked in. Garcia still loose in the 18. Chin trying to get on it. Tripped up. Referee Artis right there and no foul. The referee takes a look at it and just waves him off with the Dikembe Mutombo finger. Taken back by San Antonio and one of the more positive stretches of the match for San Antonio FC there off the corner. Let's take another look at this. Is it a foul? Is it not? Happy I don't have to make these calls. He does get a touch to it, but he goes down a little bit too soft for my liking. That's the big defender, Hedrick, who got a piece of him. Throw in by Cochran and taken Johnson. So far for San Antonio, every time Johnson touches the ball, something happens. If they can keep getting the ball to his feet, let him run at players, he's gonna make something happen. Five of the seven attacks in the game so far from Oklahoma City as it's played here by Josh Ford. 28-year-old goalkeeper, 11th overall pick in MLS by the Sounders in 2011, never played for Seattle. Aaron Clearance, McBride, gives it an extra push, and the foul is committed by Garcia. Another free kick, Oklahoma City. They're looking for a card here. I'm not sure if they'll get it. Well, I think McBride was saying that he was fouled before this one, before the, the foul the referee actually called, and that's, that's the argument. There's no question that what the referee actually called was a foul. But I think McBride wanted that ball uh, before. So it will be Dalgard again on the free kick from distance. Let's see how they play it. They've got some targets on this team. Koenig is 6-2. Bonner is 6-4. Dalgard service. McCarthy able to defend that away, and it comes to Busco. Kalen Ryden, the left back for Oklahoma City. Able to keep this alive. Pass picked off, though, by Castillo. San Antonio looks to hit on the counter. Now Chin using the width of the field. Johnson on the far side, able to latch on to this. Good recovery, and Oklahoma City happily concedes the corner. And again, we find Johnson with that space out wide. A good ball from Chin trying to pick him out. That's Ryden, the left back, who came racing back in the picture to break it up. And now Castillo will take the corner from the far side. Veteran midfielder able to curl this in and headed away by Ryden once again. Garcia lays it off. Now Cochran. Chin up for this. Taken down by the foot of Alvarez, and he'll play it out wide. Taking back some possession now is the home side. Deflected off Garcia to break that up, but more and more positive things happening now for San Antonio FC. Yeah, the more that San Antonio has gotten their attackers into this game and they've been able to hold that ball up, the more success they've had in that offensive half. And it comes down to that man right there, Johnson. He's able to make some things happen. He's holding that ball, and he's making the defense weary of him. Lorendi with the goal kick. He was instrumental in getting the point at home. Five saves for Cody Lorendi in the last meeting between these teams at Taft Stadium last weekend. Here's Chin on the ball for San Antonio. Did well to help save possession. Taken back by San Antonio. Salazar. Alvarez. Now Cochran. To the top of the box, looking for Chin, but broken up. Captain for Oklahoma City is Michael Thomas, wearing number eight on the ball. They navigate this out of harm's way only momentarily. Johnson takes it back, controlled here. Castillo tried to poke it out wide, following up Salazar. Castillo in the midfield for Garcia. Palacios calling for it on the far side. They go left, and the pass taken away. Counterattack for Oklahoma City. Here's Kraft on the move. Cochran racing back. Kraft gives it a go, and it's into no man's land. He 
see Kraft just making that run. He's got to slow that ball down and let his team come and support him. He's got Koenig waiting in the middle, but not able to find him on anything. Just decides to have a go himself and puts it about 20 yards over. Here's Ford with the goal kick. Wearing the captain's armband again is the goalkeeper, Josh Ford, in the midfield. Garcia. Now Palacios. Alvarez wants good Chin. Ball. That's a good ball. Taken into the box. Way off his line, Lord Endy, oh. and it deflects away. It's a goal kick coming up for Oklahoma City. Best chance of the match for San Antonio. A good layoff from Chin. Garcia making that third man run. That's going to be ever so important in this game today. You see good patience, good ball in. That ball through from Chin is magical. But I'd love to see Garcia try that early touch over the top early, right as that goalkeeper's coming out to him. Garcia so close to his third of the season. Foul committed. Stephen McCarthy races back. Why don't you check that? He was just shaken up. It's a throw in for Oklahoma City. Lorendi. Deflects Hedrick for Harris. Salazar at the midfield stripe. Good Alvarez. Run. Palacios now, far side. Here's the Honduran looking for some magic. Instead, gives to Alvarez. And that pass off the mark, controlled by Lorendi. That's one thing that San Antonio is doing very well is getting their outside backs into the attack quite a bit. We see Palacios on that last one. We've seen Cochran a couple of times getting forward. When you have some possession in the attacking half, it allows your outside backs to get into the game. They produced 11 shots in the game against Oklahoma City last week. Six of those on frame in the 1-1 draw. Cochran for McBride. McBride instrumental in that result for San Antonio. He was named to the USL Team of the Week on Tuesday. This Wednesday at 7.30 p.m., our next broadcast, San Antonio FC against their Texas rivals, Rio Grande Valley FC. Check out all the action right here on Fox Sports Southwest. Rematch of the game that took place May 7th and a late stoppage time goal by Rio Grande Valley. Broke some hearts here at Toyota Field. Galgard for Oklahoma City. His service, top of the box. Bonner able to settle it down. Thomas gives it a go. That was hopeful. Yeah, well, you see what he's what he's thinking. That ball drops for him. He's got some time. He wants to just have that full volley looking to pick out that far post, but that's a tough one. Looking at the Crocketeers, the supporters here in San Antonio. The response here in the first USL season in San Antonio has been Nothing short of tremendous. April 9th home opener drew 8,466 fans, the most at Toyota Field, the wildly successful start. Followed up with an excellent crowd in the next home game after that. Team looking for results now. Off to a 2-3-3 three, and three start in this debutante USL campaign. Let's watch Harris again. This time the conventional throw in. Still gets about 40 yards on it. Ford will take control of this. Palacios, each team looking for the breakthrough. Mid first half at Toyota Field. That ball off Dalgard. Red flags being waved here in the early portion of the season for San Antonio. We mentioned sitting 10th in the Western Conference, but they're fifth in goal differential. And in goals scored in the conference, they're tied for third with 11 so far this season. Looking for the breakthrough here.
Harris to the midfield. Thomas gets the attack going the other way. Oklahoma City Energy FC wearing the light green uniforms. Thomas to the far side. Ryden service. Nobody on the receiving end but Cochran for San Antonio who lets it go. Give either side a distinct advantage to this point in the game, Kelly? You know, I think that OKC has had the better possession and other than hitting that ball off the crossbar, I actually think that San Antonio has had the better chances on goal. Here's Greg Cochran. Kraft does well to avoid Chin. Garcia for Alvarez. Carlos Alvarez for Palacios. And McCarthy. McCarthy out of the back, wants Chin. Lorende is off his line to challenge and took charge. Everybody okay there? You see Chin has been able to make these good penetrating runs on the diagonal in behind that OKC defense. It's been dangerous every time. And credit to the rest of San Antonio. They've been able to see those runs and try and slip the ball in through uh, to Chin. Might have been a head collision here. Yeah, it looks like something. Chin got a little knock on the back of his head and looks like Hendrick got a little something as well. That's the man who's still down, the Oklahoma City defender and really the anchor of their back four, Cyprian Hendrick, who's slowly back to his feet. And let's take another look. It looks like his, uh, his goalkeeper actually got him with, the, with his cleat right in the back of the head. But Hendrick did what he needed to do to keep the ball out of the back of the net. Have to applaud that as a defender. He's played every minute of the season thus far for Oklahoma City. Played the fewest games so far of any team in the Western Conference, only six. Jimmy Nielsen was telling us about the one postponement they had earlier this year. Snowstorm in the wet Midwest prevented them from getting to a road game against Vancouver earlier this year. Thus, their 14th place standing in the Western Conference. They've got some games at hand on every other team and time. Johnson at the midfield stripe. Can't control. Throw in here for Oklahoma City FC. 25 minutes gone by at Toyota Field. McCarthy. Shoulder to shoulder with Koenig. It's well defended by McCarthy. And Koenig has been quiet thus far. Hasn't been able to find the ball. I think McBride and McCarthy have done a very good job of keeping a tight eye on him, not allowing him to get in behind him, not allowing them to come short, get the ball from his midfield. He was nothing short of explosive last year. Danny Koenig, 21 goals last season, was second only to Louisville City FC's Matt Fondi, who established a league record with 22. Alvarez on the ball for San Antonio. Tries to beat two defenders, continues on. Works it across for Chin. Lorendi is there. That's a great run from Alvarez. Distribution by Lorendi. Thomas for Koenig. He's pushed and a foul called against San Antonio. It looks like we'll see our first yellow card of the night. crowd does not like that one. Garcia is the player booked. First caution of the match, Danny Garcia. And Garcia, he knew it was a foul. It was a good tactical foul. Sebastian Terrier absent from this midfield as we told you at the top he's been called to the Haitian national team he's participating in a 12-day camp in preparation for Copa America he has not made the team yet he has to survive a final cut and if he does he'll be part of Copa America Haiti is placed in a group with Peru Brazil and Ecuador and for Terrier 
That would be, I imagine, a rewarding experience representing his country on that stage. First time the tournament comes to the United States in the 100th anniversary of the first Copa America. Yeah, I mean, any time you have a chance to represent your country, I mean, it's just such a huge honor. And if you look at who they're playing, I mean, especially the you know, they highlight Brazil there. Anytime you get to play against Brazil in a world-class tournament like Copa America. The other national team call-up is Manolo Sanchez. His thoughts on perhaps playing for Puerto Rico tomorrow against the United States in a friendly coming your way at halftime here on Fox Sports Southwest. This deflection drops for Chin. Here's Chin. Follow up, Garcia. He's clipped. Foul called. Free kick from dead straight is coming up for San Antonio. Well, we're starting to see that chemistry between Chin and Garcia. See, Garcia wins the head ball in midfield. Chin able to run onto it, slow down. Garcia keeps that run going, gets that touch right before Harris comes in and brings him down. This is a good, dangerous spot for a free kick for San Antonio. Let's see what the options are here. Castillo, always an option. Alvarez is there. McBride and McCarthy, the defenders back off. Let's see how it's played. First foul of the game on Oklahoma City, and we'll see if San Antonio makes it a costly one. Castillo parried away the save by Lodendi for a corner. Castillo not able to get the bend that he wanted on it, but able to keep that ball below the bar and force a save from Lorendi. Man has found the back of the net, Castillo. Had 17 goals over the last two seasons playing for NASL's San Antonio Scorpions. Now with the USL side, it's a corner store, corner kick for Rafa Castillo. We've seen OKC be more aggressive defensively on these set pieces. Let's see if San Antonio can match that and make something happen. Referee Artis breaks up a scuffle in the six yard box. Now we're ready to go. Here's Castillo. Lost his balance on the service and deflected away. And referee saw a foul in there as well. Bring it all the way back. Taken by Oklahoma City Energy FC. We remain scoreless. Oklahoma City, one of the USL teams with an NLS affiliation. Theirs is with FC Dallas, currently the second place team in NLS Western Conference. Keep up to date with USL all season long. Visit the new USLsoccer.com for everything you need to know about the USL. Including a recap tomorrow of this one. No score thus far between San Antonio FC and Oklahoma City Energy FC. Johnson broken up by Busco. Palacios, Chin wins the foot race. Gets there before Harris. Couldn't cut it back. Now Chin plays this. Castillo oh. off the bar. So each team has hit Woodwork. What an effort from Chin to just keep that ball alive. It goes out wide. You think maybe this play is done. That's some fancy footwork. And he doesn't just try and cross it to nobody. He cuts it back to Castillo. So close with that finish. But right off the crossbar. Palacios throwing. Golden opportunities for each side. The stalemate continues. Castillo. Cochran. Long Island, New York native. Good ball, finds Salazar. Well played by the defender, Hedrick. Not out of harm's way. And San Antonio is called for the foul. Yes, Salazar. Salazar did a little bit too much with his hands, I believe. Hendrick had body position on him, and you're gonna see Salazar. Just pulling him back. You see that jersey tug right there. That's what the referee saw.
Koenig. Defended away by McCarthy. Foul is called against Oklahoma City. Here's how close Castillo came moments ago. And you look at this good play from Chin. Cuts it back, Castillo with that left foot, trying to bend it to that far post. And just an inch too high, hits it right off the crossbar. Here's McBride. Alvarez. McCarthy. The aerial battle continues. Now Harris. Cochran. Off Castillo and Oklahoma City will have it. Rafa Castillo played in the World Cup for Colombia back in 2002. He can score from distance. Long range strike against Tulsa several weeks ago in a victory for San Antonio. Johnson collides with Lorendi. Neither player wanted to give ground. And Johnson is right back up. Lorendi is a big guy, 6'3", 212. Hedrick out of the back. I have to say the momentum has been with San Antonio these last 10 minutes or so. Cochran. Garcia. Fouled at midfield. It's Busco who's called for the infraction. It's one of the three Danes employed by Jimmy Nielsen, the head coach of Oklahoma City. Free kick here, Castillo. You see Garcia's frustration that a yellow card was not given. Thinks that he got a yellow card for something fairly soft. So it should be going both ways. Castillo down the left side Harris plays it off Cochran and a throw in for Oklahoma City like San Antonio they celebrated a US Open Cup win on Wednesday in far more nail-biting fashion though it was a scoreless draw that went to 11 rounds of penalty kicks and after 18 consecutive scores on the PKs the backup goalkeeper CJ Cochran stopped the next two Alvarez Save made by Lorendi. Carlos Alvarez nearly catching the stadium by surprise, and it goes for a corner. Well, nearly catching Lorendi by surprise as well. Lorendi does well to just parry this ball wide. You're going to see Alvarez get the ball up top. A quick turn and a quick shot trying to pick out that far post. And Lorendi just gets a fingertip to it to push it wide of that post. Corner store, corner kick. Here's Carlos Alvarez over the ball. First player signed by San Antonio FC. Preparation for this inaugural season. Has a goal. He's set up two others so far this season. Got to get that ball over the first, po first man. Cochran waiting for it. Sees the imposing Koenig bearing down on him and headed away by Hedrick. Playing the game in the real estate they want to play it in now is yep. San Antonio FC. Cochran will back it up. Skies that away. Another throw in. Here's Castillo. Tack largely going through number 16 tonight for San Antonio. And possession goes to Oklahoma City. Yeah, you have to say Castillo has been the most influential player on the field so far for San Antonio. 
were the captain's armband when Josh Ford was out with injury two weeks ago. We get a look at Jimmy Nielsen, the 38-year-old, third-year head coach of Oklahoma City, former MLS Cup champion, former goalkeeper of the year in Major League Soccer with Sporting Kansas City. Has adapted extremely well to life in Oklahoma City, post-playing career. He retired two days after he won MLS Cup with Kansas City. Yeah. Began the process of interviewing for the job with Oklahoma City just days after that. So much for stopping to smell the roses, <laughs> and he's been in charge since. Hedrick gets this away. You competed against him in MLS. I did, I did, yeah. You know, he's just, for me, he's just got such a great personality as a head coach. I think all these players uh, feel lucky to play for him. White Puma, the nickname as a player. Harris for Hedrick. Castillo sees it taken away by Thomas. Dalgard didn't control for long. And the counterattack blows up for Oklahoma City as Ford gets this away. Taken in the midfield, San Antonio. Salazar has Chin. Sean Chin, support coming. Cochran, Chin, plays it to the top of the 18. Garcia for Cochran. Now Alvarez. Lost control and taken by Thomas. McCarthy still looking to make something of this for the home side. Now for McBride. Garcia has Palacios far side. Salazar finds Johnson. Jason Johnson tries to cut it back on. Andrews continues on. Johnson able to beat his man, takes it into the 18. That cross broken up, taken here by Dalgard, taken back by Salazar. We're seeing some confidence in attack from San Antonio. They're able to be patient with the ball. They're taking some chances. And every time Johnson gets the ball, something happens. They flip the momentum from the opening 10 minutes or so of the game, but the stalemate continues as we hit the 40-minute mark in tonight's match. We're scoreless at Toyota Field. McBride. McCarthy. Stephen McCarthy out of the back, wants Chin, but Hedrick able to drift over and take charge. Nearly given away, taken back by San Antonio. This ball defended by Harris and fortunately stays in where Hedrick gets it out of harm's way. Castillo and Chin just forced that turnover. Been looking for Garcia in the middle. Alvarez. His pass taken back. Oklahoma City on the counter. And this is where San Antonio has to be careful. They can't get too many numbers forward and give up so much space behind. Bonner slows it for Dalgard. This crack from long range sends Ford diving, but it's off the mark. Well, in the last matchup, we saw OKC capitalize on a counterattack, just like we just saw. This time, they're not able to put the ball away in the, net, in the back of the net. But Koenig, the player that you have to watch in those. Deflected by San Antonio. A corner is earned, and Dalgard will take it from the near side. corner of the match for Oklahoma City. Dalgard into the area. That ball deflected away. The big man Koenig trying to get on the end of it. Kalen Ryden was there as well. It looked like Ryden was, a, was able to get on the end. And Koenig just sniffing right on the line there. And San Antonio able to keep it out. Wash, rinse, repeat. Dalgard again on the corner. That ball curled in and defended away by Alvarez. Got to get the ball over the near post. 
Oklahoma City scored on its only shot on frame in the last match. Nine other shots were off target. The goal by Koenig, the only one that was. Dalgard again, headed away by McCarthy. Aggressive pursuit by Chin, sends the ball back near midfield, and it's deflected off San Antonio. Oh, what, I, what I like from San Antonio is when that ball gets cleared out, you're seeing them apply pressure quickly. We saw Garcia there just force that ball out of bounds, and we saw McCarthy earlier. He heads the ball out, and then he closes the man down at the top of the box. There he is again to deny on the far side and the throw in for Oklahoma City. Late in the first half, scoreless game at Toyota Field. With Kelly Gray, I'm Steve Cangelosi. Manolo Sanchez chats about his stint with the Puerto Rico national team coming up during our halftime coverage on Fox Sports Southwest. Players shaken up for San Antonio FC and they're tending to Miguel Salazar. Mexican born midfielder in the starting 11 here tonight. Sebastian Terrier on duty with Haiti. Salazar will come off, and in the attacking area, Oklahoma City continues. Colin Bonner is on the sideline for Oklahoma City. Each side is playing with 10. Did not see what happened to Bonner. Ball loose at the top of the 18, controlled by Oklahoma City. Harris headed away. McCarthy took charge. Ryden will let it go. 45th minute. Here's Alvarez. Andrews guides it away for Oklahoma City. Alvarez collects it midfield, gives to Castillo. Engine in the midfield, plays it out wide. Cochran is on it for San Antonio. Cochran takes a look into the 18. This ball headed over the bar. It looks like we'll see one minute of stoppage time from the referee. Alvarez on the receiving end of that chance, and Lorendi will place this down for Oklahoma City. Visiting side looking for just its second win this season. San Antonio trying to even its record at 3-3-3. They can do so with a victory tonight. That's Bonner now wearing the headband as they tended to his injury moments ago. Taken back, San Antonio. Here's Cochran. Roughly half a minute to go. Johnson is denied by Hedrick, but a throw in here. One last chance for San Antonio. Castillo. Cochran says, let me have it. And, and with that, <laughs> it is over. They never get the ball in. Hesitation costing San Antonio FC. So the whistle blows, 45 minutes in the books. Kelly Gray, your thoughts on the first half? Uh, my thoughts so far, I think OKC has got to be pretty happy going into halftime, tied at zero. I think Castillo for San Antonio has been absolutely magnificent tonight. He's been all over the pitch. He's been pulling the strings in offense. He's been breaking up plays in defense. So right now, 0-0 zero, zero halftime. San Antonio a little bit unhappy not to have put one away. Uh, but OKC's got to be pretty happy with, with the, uh, the score line at the moment. Coming up in just a few moments, Manolo Sanchez, who has his first goal for San Antonio FC under his belt, now hopes to score a few for Puerto Rico in the coming week. He's bracing for a game against the United. It's really quite simple. To see results, do the work. Focus on the goals. Push it to the limit hour after hour. That's how you rise to the next level. You can be a professional athlete or an insurance or financial professional. 
perfecting your shot or protecting your client's future. The rules are the same. It takes passion and dedication every single day. So when it's time, you will be ready. What's up with the boat? Trainers want us to eat more seafood, so we got us a fishing boat. And now we're working on the name. I like Man Ray. Or Timtanic. Hoop, line, and sinker. Kawhi not. Got it. The Sharkus. How about the H-E-B oven-ready seafood meals that you can enjoy in minutes without the hassle of fishing? Seems too long for a boat name. H-E-B's new oven-ready seafood meals, all ready in minutes. When do you have time to make signs? <laughs> Friday, May 27th, our game hits new heights as the San Antonio Stars take the court against the Chicago Sky. Grab a seat for just 10 bucks and keep the savings coming with Dollar Drink Night, presented by Bud Light and the San Antonio Current. Beers and soda are just a buck all night. Visit SAStars.com for more info. We've worked pretty hard to become the world's largest independent refiner and to be America's third largest producer of renewable fuels. But we've also worked hard to be named one of Fortune's most admired companies by giving over 125,000 volunteer hours a year, donating over 1 million pounds of food to local food banks, and building homes for Habitat for Humanity. To appreciate a company's true value, you have to understand the heart of its people. First, I'm gonna start out with Creed. Then from Creed, I'm probably gonna eat my sandwich. After my sandwich, we might play a game of 22. It's a card game where Sam Big Ol' Head's probably the worst. After that, I'm probably gonna eat um, a whole roll of Toll Host cookie dough as fast as I can. And then I'm probably gonna snuggle with my pillow. And that's gonna be probably maybe four hours. And then I'm gonna have to figure out what I wanna do for the other four. Uh, I'm up in the air, so I'll have to get back to you on that one. This is all going for yeah, man. Um, what are you gonna order? I'm probably gonna order a chicken and pasta. That's what Darren wants from me. Chicken and pasta. What are you gonna order, Steve? Um probably some pasta, man. We're at an Italian restaurant, so. <laughs> Steve's like the most boring guy in this <laughs> Whatever minute you get in the game, whatever moment you come out of the game, while you're on that pitch for this group of players in this, in this room today, you took them from it. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Corner
sir. How can we help? Well, I'm thirsty. We have juice, teas, and over 100 ways to create your drink with our Coca-Cola Freestyle. Wow, that's a lot of drinks. Need a boost? We've got fresh coffee and great deals on energy drinks. That's cool and hot. Ready to relax? Check out our craft beer and wine selection. Classy. How else can we help? That's it. I'll just take these. Thanks. Don't forget the milk. We're your juice, tea, soda, coffee, energy drink, beer, wine, milk, and more store. We're fresh and friendly. We're Corner Store. Some excel because they're destined to. Most excel because they are determined to. They set out to outperform, outwork, outhustle, outthink, and innovate. That's how you become outstanding at what you do. It doesn't matter if you're running a team or running a business. Prepare like no one else, and when you get the opportunity to excel, you'll be ready for anything. Hi, we need a truck for our family. Yeah, something that can keep up with us. Well, Tundra's perfect. Tows up to 10,000 pounds, so you can go boating, ATVing, Ooh. or camping. <sighs> oh, that's fun. Hmm, maybe we made these scenes too realistic. During Toyota time, qualified lessees can lease a rugged and dependable new 2016 Special Edition Double Cab Tundra for $369 a month. You look like happy campers. Toyota, let's go places. Yeah, it's really special to me. Um, anytime you get to play for your country, um, it's something um, really kind of hard to explain. It's, it's a, there's a large sense of pride um, and excitement. Uh, it's a huge honor. And, you know, it's just something I'm very much looking forward to. And, you know, I got my first call up back in December in a friendly, and uh, for the first time I'll play playing in uh, official, you know, qualifiers. So I'm just really excited and really proud. It's a bit of an interesting uh, dynamic, um, you know, having been born in Philadelphia, but my parents being from Puerto Rico, um, I, I, it's a little bit of a, you know, torn feeling for me. But if I'm being honest, I feel that, you know, the household I was raised in, I feel a very, very strong connection to my Puerto Rican roots and background. And so, um, in the end of the day, it's I'm playing for one team against another team, and uh, I guess that's the most black and white I can make it, because otherwise it gets kind of complicated. You know, it's really important. I think every time you put on a jersey, whether it's for your country or for your club, you represent something more than you. Um, you know, when I go to Puerto Rico, I'll be representing the club, the, the league, as well as my family, my friends. So uh, for me, every time you step on the field, you know, you try and do those people proud. Life River City Rock Fest is back. 
Featuring Disturbed, Scorpions, Megadeth, Bullet for My Valentine, Hell Yeah, 6 a.m., and more. Tickets are on sale now at Ticketmaster.com or at the AT&T Center box office. For more info, head over to RiverCityRockFest.com. Oh, wow. Any question before we make jalapeno poppers? Uh, why is the market stressed like that? Jalapenos are spicy, man. Gotta protect. Why do they take so long to make? Paris was not built in a day. That was wrong. Whatever. Can I use my own knife? Uh, no. I oven mitt's too small. That's not a question. Why don't we just buy H-E-B jalapeno poppers? They're made by hand with cream cheese and thick sliced original bacon. That sign does it say cooking with Timmy. H-E-B jalapeno poppers. We make them so you don't have to. You may know us for our quality fuels. You might know we're the world's largest independent refiner, or even that we're in the Fortune 500 top 20. But did you know we've given over $100 million for children's charities, delivered more than 45,000 Meals on Wheels, and given over $10 million for higher education? To appreciate a company's true value, you have to understand the heart of its people. Welcome to Quarter Store. How can we help? Well, I'm thirsty. We have juice, teas, and over 100 ways to create your drink with our Coca-Cola Freestyle. Wow, that's a lot of drinks. Need a boost? We've got fresh coffee and great deals on energy drinks. That's cool and hot. Ready to relax? Check out our craft beer and wine selection. Classy. How else can we help? That's it. I'll just take these. Thanks. Don't forget the milk. We're your juice, tea, soda, coffee, energy drink, beer, wine, <laughs> milk, and more store. We're fresh and friendly. We're Corner Store. First kid, it's time for a new car. A new safe car. Exactly. Well, the Camry's really safe. Ten airbags, you could even get one with a blind spot monitor. I don't know if we need all that. <laughs> Maybe we should get it. Yeah, you never know. During Toyota time, get $2,000 customer cash, or qualified lessees can lease a new 2016 Camry LE for only $199 a month. Safe travels. Thank you. Toyota, let's go places. You may know us for our quality fuels. You might know we're the world's largest independent refiner, or even that we're in the Fortune 500 top 20. But did you know we've given over $100 million for children's charities, delivered more than 45,000 Meals on Wheels, and given over $10 million for higher education? To appreciate a company's true value, you have to understand the heart of its people. Moments away on Fox Sports Southwest, San Antonio FC and Oklahoma City FC are scoreless. No goals. There were scoring chances, though, in the first half, Kelly Gray. A couple of great chances. Coy Craft right here. Bings one right off the crossbar. A good free kick from Castillo, who's been so far the man of the match of that first half. You're going to see Chin lay a ball back. And Castillo off the crossbar for San Antonio as well. And that wasn't it. We saw a couple more shots from both teams, but nobody able to find the back of the net. 
Busco with the chance from long range and the teams make their way onto the field for the start of the second half. We see no changes visibly for either side. If that changes, we'll let you know as soon as possible and we'll wait for the signal here from the referee, Brandon Artis. Well, each team obviously would like to open it up offensively. Maybe the pressure is more on San Antonio FC being the home side. What does each have to do to make that happen? Well, I think San Antonio, they need to keep the momentum that they had uh, for the end of that uh, first half. And they need to focus on that final pass. They've had some good spells of possession in and around the box, but they have not been able to really have a good chance on goal. And for OKC, they need to get their attack into the game. Uh, Koenig has been absolutely shut down by San Antonio's center backs, and they need to see a performance out of him. You know that you're going to get the work, work rate out of him, and all he needs is that one chance to put something away. But they need to see if they can connect with him and see if he can hold that ball and bring the midfield for OKC into this game. And you said Koenig noticeably absent and quiet in that first half. However, might say the same about what took place six nights ago, and then he scores the goal later that does tie up the game. And if indeed San Antonio FC tries to put pedal to metal a little bit here, well, that opens up maybe something on the other end on a counterattack. Well, that's the best part about being a forward as well, right? You can be quiet for 89 minutes and uh, nine and uh, 60 seconds. I mean, it takes that little half second of extra time and you can put one away and be the hero. So the second half underway at Toyota Field. McBride out of the back. Cochran on the far side for San Antonio. Jason Johnson lays this back. Seven shots for each side in that opening 45 minute session. McCarthy laid off by Chin taken by Alvarez they work it out wide Cochran his service chested down by Johnson chin with a shot well constructed but it's off frame well we saw that same kind of connection early in the first half and San Antonio does the exact same thing in the second half you have to love that layoff from Johnson and Castillo coming through to end up putting a shot on just over the bar but it's that chemistry I love seeing passes they know what each other's thinking chins come on for san antonio in recent weeks darren powell says it's an injury suffered in preseason it cost him chances in the starting lineup earlier this year points in each of his first three starts prior to tonight two goals and an assist for the ex fort lauderdale striker Throw in San Antonio, it's Cochran. This ball played away, Oklahoma City will have it. Here's Harris. McBride under pressure from Koenig and he gets rid of it quickly. Mentioned that 21 goal season by Danny Koenig last year. It was Fondi, who scored 22, led the league and was USL MVP last season. But Koenig's 21 goals surpassed the former league record of Kevin Molino of 20, established a year prior with Orlando City when they were in USL. McBride challenging for this. Garcia. Not out of harm's way, Dalgard brings it down. Busco, played ahead. Flicked by Palacios, taken by Castillo. Trying to spring chin is San Antonio. Hedrick is there to deny. Well played by Hedrick. Just reading that play, keeping an eye on chin. Palacios and Castillo. He wants Garcia and a foul against Oklahoma City. But again, you see that one touch passes between San Antonio. They're really starting to flow in the game. The question is, can they make something of it? Can they put a ball, put a ball away, establish a lead tonight? Patience is the order right now, perhaps, as Palacio finds another gear, keeps the cross low, looking for Johnson, and defend it away. Burst of speed by Milton Palacios for San Antonio as the ball is deflected out. 
Spent the second half of last season with the NASL Scorpions here in San Antonio. Darren Powell saying he loves his athleticism. Long throw in, off chin. Garcia for Alvarez. Alvarez looks for a lane, continues on, gives it a go, and the ball deflected away for a corner. Well, as soon as Alvarez picked up that ball in the middle of the field, you knew exactly what he wanted to do. He wanted to get a shot off. It will be Castillo from the near side. Fifth corner of the match for San Antonio. Castillo, that ball blocked away. Not sure if it was off the keeper or not. We need another look. Another chance now for Castillo. Tries to get it on the left foot. Muscled away by the defender, Ryden. And Lorendi is there. How did that ball stay out? It looked like, to me like Lorendi got his body behind it. But his two players on the near post seemed to let it go, thinking it was going into that side netting. Garcia at midfield. Frustrated Donnie Koenig can't get on that. McBride on the ball for San Antonio. Too much mustard on the pass, and it's deflected out of play. 50 minutes in the books. No score, San Antonio and Oklahoma City. Glad you've joined us on Fox Sports Southwest. Bonner, shielded away by Cochran, throwing for San Antonio. Here's the last corner. Let's take a look at it. Looks like it went off the post. It did, yeah. Off the post. Second time tonight, San Antonio's hit the bar. Bonner challenging McBride. Taken back at midfield. Oklahoma City is on it. Here's Captain Thomas. Lays it across. Dalgard sees it taken away. Palacios wants Chin. Tries to beat his man 1v1. Johnson is able to take this. Johnson lost his footing with Hedrick backtracking. A goal kick is awarded. You have to love the effort that Chin puts into that play. He doesn't give up on anything. See Johnson pick up this ball, and this is, for me, it's well defended. Johnson, you see what he wants. He wants it on that right foot, and it's not his natural foot. But you had... Hedrick just stand him up, put a little bit of a body to him, just enough to knock him off balance and put that ball wider than that. Palacios heads it away from Dalgard. Cochran. Too far for Chin, and Oklahoma City will have it. Oklahoma City, a playoff team last year, defeated Colorado Springs in the conference semifinal before losing to LA Galaxy 2 in the Western Conference Final. Second half comeback that fell short at Taft Stadium. Jimmy Nielsen's side has some ground to make up to get back into the playoff picture. Top eight in each conference in USL go to the postseason. Castillo challenged by Busco. Now the release, flag is up on Alvarez. Good look from Castillo, though. Now Alvarez just towing that line. Just caught about a foot off, off sides. Neither team's had success going over the top to this point in the game. Yeah. Cochran, far side. Castillo, the general in the midfield. Garcia. Palacios settled down by the Honduran and he continues on. McCarthy. Oklahoma City will have it. San Antonio FC returns to the field Wednesday. They take on Lone Star State rival RGV FC at 7.30 p.m. Be a part of the experience. Be a part of the club. For tickets, visit sanantoniofc.com.
Toyota.com. Rio Grande Valley FC back at Toyota Field on Wednesday for the midweek clash. Chin for Garcia. Castillo wants Johnson at the edge of the 18. Johnson able to play it off the competitor and a throw in for San Antonio. Neither side has gone to the bench yet. Palacios. Garcia. To the foot of Castillo. Gives it a go off the left foot. That ball went astray, and it's going to be possession for Oklahoma City. Uh, it looked like Castillo was taking a shot there. He thought he was going to curl that to that back post and try and pick out Chin. But it seemed to me like he put a little bit more behind it. Here's Harris again with the flip on the throw in. Space near side, riding on the ball. Tries to seek out Dalgard. McCarthy has been a rock so far tonight, and he plays that away. Busco. Players are tumbling. Referee not blowing a whistle here until the ball goes out. Yeah, the referee doesn't want to hear any of this. Castillo now in a show of emotion and in the face of the captain for Oklahoma City, Michael Thomas. Interesting from Castillo. He's got to be a little bit careful. And the referee's going to pull him over and have a word. Only yellow card issued in the match was pretty early in the first half. Danny Garcia cautioned at that point, and that's all to this Point in the game, 56th minute, and we're scoreless. It'll be Palacios on the throw in. Salazar for Chin. Flicked into space. Alvarez can't get there. Lorendi. One time Fort Lauderdale striker and Played for Puerto Rico Islanders in the NASL, Cody Lorendi. McBride at the midfield stripe. Thomas challenging, Alvarez on the ball. Tries to get San Antonio going. Gets it to the far side. Three players into the attack. Chin is in the 18, but defended away by Hedrick. Salazar thought about the intercept. Here comes Oklahoma City on a counterattack to the far side. Koenig, we've rarely called his name. Danny Koenig is on it. Able to drop this off. Kraft from the far side, easily parried away. Off the foot of Kraft and handled by the goalkeeper, Ford. Well, we're seeing the game open up a bit. More back and forth is just going to mean more space out there for both teams. Castillo to the middle of the park. Alvarez operating there. Now out wide, Cochran. Tries to spring Garcia on the far side. Hedrick will play it away. Alvarez thought the call went the other way. It was deflected, though, and it'll be Harris on the throwing. For Oklahoma City, it remains scoreless in this 58th minute of the game. Dalgard at midfield. Laid out wide. Kraft on the ball. Gives it a go. Left foot blocked away by McBride. Taken right back. Opportunity here. Dalgard gets on the ball. His service for Bonner, and it's in. Colin Bonner off the head. Bandage and all. And a 1-0 lead for Oklahoma City. You have to love the fact that OKC did not give up on this play. First ball gets cleared out. A beautiful cross in. And Bonner just there to dunk that. It'll surely be the second assist this season for Sebastian Dal Dal Dalgard and for Colin Bonner, his first goal 
of the season on loan from FC Dallas and making the appearance for Oklahoma City Energy FC count. Well that's exactly what Jimmy Nielsen wants to see. Wants to see those youngsters stepping up getting the minutes giving his team that lead. Now this is an important Oklahoma five City minutes Energy for both FC teams right now. Can San Antonio step it up and try and equalize for OKC? Can they shore things up defensively? and hang on to this lead. Chin's ball intended for Alvarez, a touch too far, and Lorendi is on it. In the time that Jimmy Nielsen has been coach in Oklahoma City, the record when they score the first goal is an impressive 24, 5, and 6. His team looking for more. McCarthy steps up to defend. Palacios will let this go, a throw in for San Antonio. Well, two weeks ago in this stadium, and Jimmy Nielsen likely knows this. San Antonio came back from a two goal deficit to get level with Rio Grande Valley FC only to lose on a heartbreaker in stoppage time. Back the other way, San Antonio FC with an Oklahoma player down. Not sure San Antonio recognizes that. They continue on, Garcia pushed by Hedrick. And a foul is called, but way behind the play is an injured player. That's Coy Kraft, who's not yet back to his feet. And Garcia not happy with the referee, just allowing play to, to continue there. Thought he was fouled. We'll, we'll see if we can take a look at what happened to Coy Kraft. Stepped on by Salazar and the foul. And what maybe perhaps should have been a foul, the referee decided it was not. Garcia goes down and Hedrick just tumbles right over him. So we're two thirds of the way through. San Antonio FC trailing by one at home, but a free kick opportunity is coming their way. First substitution of the game will be employed by Oklahoma City. And it will be Daniel Gonzalez coming into the match. He'll take the place of Sebastian Dalgard, who's done for the night. Gonzalez subbed on in the game last week as well. The 23-year-old midfielder from Yelm, Washington, played at Peninsula College in Washington State. Kraft gets the OK to rejoin play. Sixty second minute of a one nothing match. The lone goal, Colin Bonner off the head. Throw in was awarded. Here's Castillo, his team trailing by one. Plays it over the top, Hedrick gets it away. Palacio saves possession. Taken back, Chin looks for space. It's well played by Chin. Back for Palacios, saves possession again. Back for Sean Chin. Those two feeling the combination. Chin, Garcia punches it out wide. Chin, just a bit too aggressive for Sean Chin to save it. And the build up ends frustratingly for San Antonio. Gonzalez for Oklahoma City. Settle down, Castillo. Johnson. Garcia. Battling on the near side with Ryden. Danny Garcia continues on. That ball deflected away, cleared by Oklahoma City. Bonner waiting for it with McBride right there. That's well defended by McBride as well. Letting that ball bounce, timing his contact with Bonner perfectly so that that ball bounced right over Bonner's head. McCarthy out of the back, seeking Jason Johnson, but headed away by the defender, Cody Andrews. Taking the bulk of possession now, San Antonio, and ready to go to his bench is Darren Powell. More on that in just a few moments. Palacios played across. 
This ball drops. Kraft tries to clear it away. Played out. Throw in here for San Antonio. Lorende gobbles that up with Chin lurking at the doorstep. Powell and San Antonio seem to have two substitutions ready. We'll update that in a moment. Bobby Mosley is one of the players who appears to be moments away from coming in. Lorende with his release. Jacques Francois, the explosive USL rookie, also readying himself. In the meantime, Oklahoma City leading by one. Kraft, far side, deflected away. It's off Alvarez for an Oklahoma City throw-in. Here's Michael Harris. Not as much space on the far side of the field. Let's see if he still goes for the athletic over the top move. He does not. Direct throw in. Now the crack. That ball deflected away, and Ford controls it. Ryden's shot was deflected. McCarthy on the ball for San Antonio. Trailing by one. The veteran defender ahead. Garcia. Castillo. Thomas, back for Oklahoma City. Now the goal scorer, Bonner, plays it ahead. Got Gonzalez on the move. Daniel Gonzalez gets the cross away, looking for Koenig, and that just missed. Koenig so close. All he needs to do is stick that neck out, get a little nick on that, could put it away. And we're going to see some substitutions for San Antonio. You see that ball in Koenig just about a foot behind that ball. Well defended by McBride to just get a body on him. Goal kick for Josh Ford. Seems like the San Antonio bench is sorting out the substitutions here. Not ready yet. The fourth official ready to put the board up. And now the card is passed. Will we get a goal kick first? Josh Ford wants to know if he should get the game going or not. It appears the subs will be made now. Jacques Francois, his pro debut in the Open Cup went on Wednesday, and he scored two goals in that victory versus Corinthians FC. He comes on. So does Bobby Mosley. Salazar has come out of the match midway through the second half. And Greg Cochran also to the bench. So reinforcements on. San Antonio down one. McCarthy able to guide that away and out of play for an Oklahoma City throw in. Ryden. This ball deflected out. San Antonio on a throw in. Palacios. And a foul is called against Kraft. The correction Miguel Salazar was not the player subbed out on that first exchange. Number 28 remains on the field. Kelly, can we confirm the other player who came out of the match? I believe it was Carlos Alvarez. Chested down by Bonner. Daniel Gonzalez for Oklahoma City. Francois with the challenge. Oklahoma City continues on. Here is Jacques Francois, became a full-time player for the San Antonio FC team only two weeks ago. 
He was finishing up the school year at the University of North Carolina, Greensboro. They have him now. Darren Powell was telling us he had him on the Orlando City under-23 team and knew he had potentially a special talent here. Yes, yeah, signed him early, signed him in March, told him go back, finish school, and then come and start playing. And frankly, I, I love when organizations do that for their young, their young players. And He comes in last week, makes his pro debut, and puts away two, two goals in the back of the net. Counterattack here by San Antonio. This is Mosley, who's just checked into the game, gives it a go! Lorende! Another stop, it leads to a San Antonio corner. Love that confidence from Mosley. A good strong run right up the middle of the field. He has some options, but he's thinking one thing. Taking a shot, he keeps it on target and forces a save from Lorendi. Lorendi has factored into this again. Sixth corner of the match for San Antonio. It will be Castillo from the near side. Drills it into the 18 and defend it away. Garcia. Castillo. Works oh. it across over McCarthy. Francois latches on to this. He's challenged by Busco. Mosley. Able to play this ahead, and that's too far for the on-rushing Sam McBride. Frustratingly boots it into the parking lot. Goal kick coming up for Lorende. It's a great souvenir for somebody. Seventy minutes gone by. Crowd waiting to explode at Toyota Field. Hasn't had reason to do so yet. Lorende, his release. Bonner deflected it off Salazar. And an Oklahoma City throw in. Second meeting between these clubs in a span of six days after playing to the 1-1 draw at Taft Stadium in Oklahoma on Sunday. Bonner into space, but only Garcia was there. Danny Garcia, the goal scorer in the last meeting, works it ahead. Francois. You see that strength by Francois. Does well Hold against Harris. Harris. And the ball knocked out. It's off Oklahoma City. What do they like about him, Kelly, Jacques Francois? The goals are obvious. Well, I think he just got a little bit of a glimpse of it. He's got those wheels and then that strength to hold off defenders. They play that ball in behind, and a lot of players don't get on the end of that, but he muscles his way in and is able to hold the ball up and keep possession for his team. Southern Conference Player of the Year at UNC Greensboro, Jacques Francois of Haitian descent. His first USL game for San Antonio FC here tonight after debuting in the Open Cup on Wednesday with the big performance. Now Lorende. Palacios challenging with Daniel Gonzalez. Tackle. Hard challenge by Chin. Taken back, Oklahoma City. This ball stays in play. Gonzalez is on it. You can see the game getting a little bit more chippy. Both teams need to get something out of this. San Antonio is a few minutes away from really having to start pressing, throwing some numbers forward. Here's McCarthy. Michael Reed is the other sub who's come in for San Antonio, the player on the ball now. Former Atlanta Silverback in the NASL. Taken back by San Antonio, Reed. Cleared away again by Hedrick. Hedrick just taking no chances. Another substitution from the San Antonio side. It will be the Brazilian coming on. Midfielder Victor Araujo comes in to replace Danny Garcia. So the bench being emptied by Powell in the second half. 
Here's Reed on the ball. His crack blocked away by Hedrick. Busco gets it away for Oklahoma City. Palacios backtracking. He'll deny Gonzalez, but Oklahoma City on a throw in. in the 18, but Koenig couldn't get there. Corner kick awarded here to Oklahoma City. Entering the final quarter hour of the match. And a San Antonio team looking to avoid its fourth defeat this season. Kraft will put it down for Oklahoma City. Coy Kraft into the mixer, deflected away. Taken by Araujo and skied out of harm's way. Jimmy Nielsen with a decent little touch there. His team looking for its first win since the opener. Ryden throw in. Flicked by Gonzalez. Cleared away by McCarthy. Trying to keep this alive, Oklahoma City. Bonner again plays it off the head. Tried to load it up for Thomas, but he could not. And that's well defended by Mosley. Just coming back, making a defensive play, allowing his team to get the ball. Chin lays this off. Defended away by Oklahoma City. Salazar backtracking, tuck of the shirt by Gonzalez, and a foul against Oklahoma City. Could argue a yellow card there for wasting time kicking the ball away. In my opinion, that's absolutely a yellow card, especially in the 76th minute of the game. Here's Castillo. You mentioned 76th minute. A statistic that applies. San Antonio's had some late magic this season. Five of their 11 goals this season have been scored in the 76th minute or later. They can use one here. Salazar using the width of the field. Mosley can't get there. It's played away by Harris. Well, I think this is that time where the coach has to make a decision. Do we start throwing numbers forward? Do we take some chances defensively? And are they going to push and try and get that equalizing goal? Chin brings it down for San Antonio. Castillo. Mosley on the far side. Does well to control. Here's Bobby Mosley. Keeps the cross low, looking for Francois, but broken up. That's exactly why Mosley was brought into this game. Set of fresh legs out wide. The dangerous left foot to whip some balls into the box. Off Oklahoma City again. Another throw in in the attacking third. Reed, able to lay this off. Castillo wants Francois. He was defended by the big man Hedrick and Gonzalez. Gets only so far. Taken back by San Antonio. Here's Palacios. Not enough on the pass. Player tumbling to the field for Oklahoma City is right. And here's the service by Salazar and broken up. That's a great ball by Salzar, but nobody on the end. Flag up, just as Sean Chin was hauled down in the 18-yard box. 78th minute, will it happen late tonight for San Antonio? Kept off the board to this point in their fourth home game this season. Get into the game through the USL social media channels. Follow the USL on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram for news, live game updates, and video highlights from across the league. Bonner. Mosley following up Bonner. He's looking for a second collision in the box. And broken up by San Antonio with Reed on the ball. Araujo. 
Able to spring Castillo. Here comes San Antonio. Far side, Francois gets a step on his man. Here's Francois, put it off the side of the net. Again, you see just a glimpse of what Francois can do. That speed and that strength. Hedrick is nursing his left leg. Well, you look at Francois just able to round the corner on OKC, but Hedrick takes one for the team. Steps in defensively, makes a huge play as Francois was looking to put that ball on target. Hendrick certainly in some pain. Substitution is coming here for Jimmy Nielsen's Oklahoma City side. Kyle Holland, former defender with Indy 11 of NASL, set to come into the game. And Corey Kraft is the player that's done for the night. Four-year-old defender Highland. It's basically a substitution of defense for offense. Yep. I think it's a smart move from Jimmy Nielsen, Just putting another number back. We're going to see San Antonio throw their two outside backs forward on virtually every single play. They're going to leave Bonner and Koenig. Up, that t up top to go one-on-one -on -one against McCarthy and McBride. Here's Lorendi. Fourth official now is ready to put the board up for another sub. McCarthy is done. And for San Antonio FC, they go to the bench again with Biko Bratnock Brennan coming on to take his place at defender. And a good game from McCarthy. See where they employ Biko, who does stand six foot three. Looks as though they put him back right at center back. Hedrick cleared to come back on. We're back to 11 v 11 after they tend to the injured Cyprian Hedrick of Oklahoma City. Time now becoming a factor. 81st minute in San Antonio trying to get on the board and get level. It's Bonner, the man with the goal. Off Oklahoma City, a goal kick as Mosley gets back in. Last win for San Antonio was back on April 30th in USL, the three to one victory over Tulsa that night. Here's Highland, challenging with Palacios. It's off San Antonio, and a throw in for Oklahoma City. And we'll start seeing Oklahoma City take their sweet time on every single dead ball right now. It'll be a throw in for Ryden. Former Columbus crew draft pick with the deep throw in. This ball deflects, top of the box, brought down and fired. Arguing deflection is Oklahoma City. They don't get the call. That was Gonzalez who gave it a go. Yep. Does well to bring the ball down, but can't keep that ball below the bar. Just pops up to him. Good layoff at the top of the box. Good control, but can't keep the ball below the bar. You see him asking for a deflection, but I didn't see any there. That nearly decided the issue. But off the mark, San Antonio still very much alive, and Palacios back for Pico. Former youth player at Fulham works it ahead for San Antonio, and this ball deflects away. we see an Oklahoma City side doing what it can just to take San Antonio out of its rhythm in this last patch of the game. Yep. And they have to fight through this San Antonio. Brought down by Francois. He's a good candidate to do that. Continues on. That ball deflects off Thomas. Here's Palacio. Sense the urgency now from San Antonio. Francois. 
Two defenders converge on him. Vico to the foot of Reed. Near side, Palacios once again. His cross deflects, trying to get on it, Francois. The ball deflected away, and it'll go for a goal kick. See the ball from Palacio in, deflected. Falls to the feet of Francois, but can't collect it. It's not like they're out of ideas here, though, Kelly. No, they're trying things, but nothing seems to be coming off. It's that final, that final touch, that final pass in the attacking third has just not been going San Antonio's way tonight. Highland seeking out Bonner. Look at Ford, way off his line. Plays it outside the box. Hedrick stays close to Francois, and Busco clears it away. Reed operating in the midfield. Over the center field stripe and continues on. Here's Reed, works it ahead. Tried to seek out Castillo, but broken up by Oklahoma City, and here's Bonner. Navigates traffic and gives back to Highland. Going over the top, Koenig can't get there in time before Ford does. The flag went up on the far side. Yeah, the referee just let it play on since Ford had picked up that ball anyway. Castillo wanted a yellow card for that play, and it looks like he's going to get it. Yellow card has been issued here. Was that Gonzalez who was issued the caution? Indeed it was. Danny Gonzalez gets the yellow card in this 86th minute. Reed trying to spring a frustrated Sean Chin, and now back comes Gonzalez for Oklahoma City. Has Bonner. Tried to poke it out wide for Ryden, but broken up. Taken back by San Antonio. Here's Reed. Pico to the far side, Mosley. Late second half, trying to get level as San Antonio. Mosley, his service. Lorende will just let it go. A little impatient from San Antonio. I know it's the 87th minute right now, but there's still enough time to collect the ball and have some sort of uh, meaningful attack. Right now, it seems a bit chaotic. Substitution from Oklahoma City. And we're going to get our first look in USL play. Of number 28, the forward of Polish descent, Vucic Wojciech, who's making his Oklahoma City debut. He was acquired on loan this week from Indy 11 of the NASL. Palacios. Throw in for San Antonio. Some three minutes plus stoppage time remaining to change their fate. Koenig, muscled by Biko. Ball deflected out. It'll continue to be Oklahoma City killing more clock here. Highland will let a teammate take it, and again, no one in a particular hurry. I hope they just want to see those seconds keep ticking off that clock. If OKC can come away with three points here, that's absolutely huge for their season. Here's Ryden. His throw in. Defended away, San Antonio. Kept alive out wide, and Ryden skies this high. First touch by Wojcik. Palacios tries to bring it down, cannot. And again, Oklahoma City will have it. In this 88th minute of play, San Antonio needs to do it late in tonight's game. Highland rifles it in straight to the goalkeeper, Ford. He'll get it started quickly. Josh Ford, the keeper. They give to Castillo. Araujo, out wide, Mosley, return pass. Araujo trying to save possession, now Chin. 
Makes only slight contact, but a whistle blow and a player for San Antonio is down. There's a free kick coming up. It'll be Castillo. Yeah, it looked like Araujo was fouled and the referee decided to call it. And gives a yellow card to OKC. This time Castillo will back up. He'll let the Brazilian have it. Victor Araujo on the free kick opportunity. Important moment in the game. Set piece opportunity in the 90th minute of play. Here we go. Busco gets the yellow card for Oklahoma City. Araujo with the free kick. Kunick deflected it away and safely into the arms of the goalkeeper Lorendi. Oklahoma City trying to take some of the fight out of San Antonio here late. Continuing to protect the one goal advantage. Lorendi gets it away. Busco deflected out. Palacios quickly calling for the ball, trying to get San Antonio started. His throw in off Araujo. Defended away by Andrews. McBride keeps it alive. Five minutes of added time to be played. We're far from finished. Reed trying to slow his man down. Wojcik on the ball, top of the 18, and a save by Ford. That's good positioning by Wojcik. Not able to get enough to get it past Ford. This is where San Antonio has to be a bit careful, though. They can't give up another goal. Reed plays it out wide. Foul called. Castillo quickly places it down. Still ample time here. Roughly four and a half minutes to work with for San Antonio. Plenty of time to score a goal. Here's Castillo on the ball. Backs up on it about eight yards. He passes on it. Take it here. McBride, oh. the save made by Lorendi. Nearly with the equalizer in stoppage time. A beautiful ball in by Araujo. McBride just not able to get past Lorendi. Deflected back to Ford. Just under four minutes remaining now. Taken here by Biko. His service into the attacking area. Lorende way out to take control again. 27-year-old from Melbourne, Florida, Cody Lorende has done it all here tonight. He's played a very strong game. San Antonio has created chances strong enough to get on the board tonight. Lorende hasn't let them do it. Yeah, he's been at the right place at the right time each time he's been called upon. Araujo tries to save possession. He cannot as it gets by Mosley. Throw in for Oklahoma City. In second half stoppage time, a one nothing game. Colin Bonner, the lone goal of the match, off a header in the second half. Harris, the long throw, gets some distance on it. Comes to Palacios, who controls. McBride, too far for Mosley, and more time will tick away. You just see the frustration of San Antonio's players right now. Reed, the intercept, but it's over the touchline. Another throw in coming up. Five minutes of stoppage time posted. We're roughly halfway through that. Wojcik, far side. Taken away. Araujo, not enough on the pass. But a whistle blows, and San Antonio will have it. Victor Araujo looks to get it started. Mosley, manning the left back position. Castillo, space for him in the midfield. 
It's Koenig backtracking, slows his progress. Castillo down the left side. Tries to seek out Francois, but broken up. Araujo, far side of the field. Comes away with it. Long range crack blocked away by Hedrick. Still kept alive. Reed deflected away. Busco lets it go. And a goal kick coming your way. Just over a minute before we get to five minutes of stoppage time. Cody Lenendi places it down. He's credited officially with three saves tonight. Cody Lenendi, he's been strong. Seeking the clean sheet. Taken back. Wojcik. Offside. But the flag went up on the far side. And this might be the last hope here for San Antonio tonight. You see Castillo just ushering everybody forward. Their best set piece man, Castillo, will take the free kick. Numbers getting up for San Antonio. Ford drifting towards the midfield stripe two, the goalkeeper. Castillo gets great distance on this. It's oh. headed wide of the net. It did not miss by much on the redirection. And Lorendi looked caught in no man's land. As soon as that ball goes over his head, you see that half second of worry before he realizes it's going wide of the post. And was that the last hope as we now get to the five minute mark? Jimmy Nielsen, head coach of Oklahoma City, motioning to the referee. His stopwatch has been going. It's exceeded five. Lorendi into the San Antonio area. Taken back, Francois, is there one more chance? Hedrick clears it away, and... Looks like a handball was called. Looking at the watch is the referee, Artis, and now he blows the final whistle. And with that, San Antonio's comeback attempt comes to an end. Oklahoma City Energy FC comes to Toyota Field and holds on for the one to nothing victory. It's their second win this season, and San Antonio will drop to two, four, and three. Jimmy Nielsen has got to be happy with that result from his team. That's the man with the lone goal, Bonner, and Nielsen celebrates the victory tonight. Happy trip back to Oklahoma City. Not much time to dwell on this one. For Darren Powell and his side, they've got a game coming up in midweek against Rio Grande Valley FC on Wednesday. They'll look to bounce back on Fox Sports Southwest in that matchup in the South Texas Derby. We'll take a quick timeout. We'll have a wrap on Fox Sports Southwest in just a few moments. Oklahoma City, Energy FC with the one to nothing win. Go early, stay late. It's not just X's and O's, it's studying tendencies, analyzing stats, developing new strategies, fine tuning a game plan. That's what's needed to excel. Whether the focus is coaching, mortgages, investing, finances, insurance, you put the time in. They say luck is when preparation meets opportunity. It's also called being ready. For anything. Welcome to Quarter Store. How can we help? Well, I'm thirsty. We have juice, teas, and over 100 ways to create your drink with our Coca-Cola Freestyle. Wow, that's a lot of drinks. Need a boost? We've got fresh coffee and great deals on energy drinks. That's cool and hot. Ready to relax? Check out our craft beer and wine selection. Classy. How else can we help? That's it. I'll just take these. Thanks. Don't forget the milk. With your juice, tea, soda, coffee, energy drink, beer, wine, milk, and more store. We're fresh and friendly. We're Corner Store. Our first kid, it's time for a new car. A new safe car. Exactly. Well, the Camry's really safe. Ten airbags, you could even get one with a blind spot monitor. I don't know if we need all that. <laughs> Maybe we should get it. Yeah, you never know. During Toyota time, get $2,000 customer cash, or qualified lessees can lease a new 2016 Camry LE for only $199 a month. Safe travels. Thank you. Toyota, let's go places.
Friday, May 27th, our game hits new heights as the San Antonio Stars take the court against the Chicago Sky. Grab a seat for just 10 bucks and keep the savings coming with Dollar Drink Night. Presented by Bud Light and the San Antonio Current. Beers and soda are just a buck all night. Visit sastars.com for more info.